we're playing at home in Thomond Park in Europe. The only thing that matters for us is, is winning and, and in the process attempting to get uh, four tries. But we know that you've got to start with the most important bit and that's winning and showing people how much this competition means to us and going out doing ourselves justice and having the pride we have with this competition and uh, performing at Sunday at one o'clock. It's all we can control with a few small little adjustments of every confidence that we can get there and we've a huge part to play in our season. Yes, Europe is out of our control to a certain extent, but uh, there's a long way to go and, you know, we've played, uh, you know, Saris and Racing home and away. There are semi-finalists in Europe for the last three seasons and we've gotten better. We're still not beating them, but we're, we're going in the right direction, which, yeah, it's frustrating when you get those results, but um, as I said, we're, we're going in the right direction. It's certainly putting on a performance for the fans, but it's putting on a performance for ourselves as a squad. You know, we've 45 players, you know, loads of management. We owe it to everybody who's involved with the Munster brand to, to perform on Sunday. And then you've got the fans, you know, walking around the U Arena after the game, um, applauding the fans. It's, it's, it's emotional, it's hard, particularly when, you're, when you've lost. Um, and we want to go out and, as I said, do what we can, firstly for ourselves and then, very importantly, for our fans, because 19,000 tickets sold for our own sixth game um, where we're out of control of what can happen is, is incredible and it's a testament to how, um, how loyal our fans are and we, we appreciate it so, so much and you know, we want to repay that on Sunday. Yeah, well you see what someone like Alan Wynne Jones does to, to change up <laughs> to change up a mentality in a team, how one man can turn uh, turn the mentality of a team around. Yeah, they've had a tough season, but they ran series close at the weekend. Um, they've got some of their Welsh internationals back, so they also have nothing to lose. They're looking for a win, their first win in the competition. So they have they won't have any fears. You know. They're, from their point of view, what's the worst is going to happen? They're going to lose another match in Europe. They're out anyway, so they're going to come fearless, which is always a dangerous proposition against a team with, with a, a lot of talent uh, throughout their throughout their squad. Um, so, you know, as I said, we're focusing to going out and get a win on on Sunday, and whatever happens, happens. I think any time you put on a red jersey, it's not hard to get yourself up. Um, obviously, we were bitterly disappointed to lose to Racing. You know, I, I thought we competed very well with them for 70 minutes and unfortunately I think the last 10 minutes they were in full credit to them they, they deserved to win they ran away with it a bit um, the task is now you know you got to dust yourself off quickly and get ready for a very hungry Ospreys team you know that they need wins um, they haven't a win in this competition yet so they're going to be definitely going to be targeting a scalp and Tommen Park off us and we got to be emotionally and mentally ready and physically prepared for that on Sunday. We had a review of the game this morning. Uh, I thought it was quite a positive review. You know, we went through attack D, um, a lot of areas, and one thing that we did highlight is just finishing the game. Um, I thought we actually started the wrestling game was one of the best starts we've had in the last year or two to a game. I thought we really came out of the blocks well, which is something we hadn't been doing. So I thought that was a quite a positive to take from it. Um, and but it's certainly something we need to address. You know, the last 10, 15 minutes and a couple of games have really hurt us. So. Um, you know, we're looking at different things. We're looking at, you know, obviously impacts off the bench. You know, fitness with in the squad. Um, you know, we look at each other. You know, you look at yourself first, and then you look at others. And um, but we're we're going through everything with a fine tooth comb to try and come up with solutions for this weekend. Yeah, look, um, we we're still alive in this in this competition. It's it's out of our hands now. But it's always brilliant to to play at Fowland Park, and you now we have uh, incredible support. Um, uh, you know the amount of Munster people that that went to to Racing and you know, the people uh, at the airport they they were all brilliant and you know uh, we we love to play at Thurman Park and you know, before the the Leinster game on the 28th we were unbeaten here for for two years and you know, even that game it came down to a line out in in the last minute of the game and you know uh, we are really looking forward to to play at home in in which will be our last European game of of this season at home. You know, the Ospreys have got quality players. Alan Wynn is one of the very best players in, in the world and um you know, was close to, to World Rugby Player of the Year. Um even though he's possibly not the captain in, in wording for them, he's definitely their spiritual leader and it's a player that I respect a lot and we respect a lot and even their performance against Saracens was, was very good and 
you know, uh, the weather um, was against him in that second half and obviously they'll come to Thurman Park with, with nothing to lose and, you know, um, it's, it's a new game of rugby.